Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a get ready with me. I used the new um, 2015 ColourPop holiday collection. Um, one of them were called the Thirsty Girl, the Super Shock eyeshadow. So I used that. Um, and also I wanted to use the Ofra Kathleen Lights uh, lipstick in Miami Fever. So if you're interested in this look right here, then keep watching. Let's get right into it. I'm going in with the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. Okay, I already did my eyebrows. I just used the same thing I've been using, the e.l.f. new e.l.f. product that came out and my NYX brow pencil. The Argan Oil Physician's Formula and just put that under my eyes so they're not so dry. I like to use this stuff on it. Smashbox Photo Finish Primer all over my face. Rub and pat, I guess. This stuff is really nice. It really keeps you matte. And then I like to spray my face with the Max um, Fix Plus. And then I'm going to go in with foundation. I'm going to be using the Estee Lauder Double Wear in the shade 3W2 Cashew. I'm just going to pump that on the back of my hand. And the brush I'm going to be using is the Morphe M439 brush. This foundation is a little dark for my skin, but um, it matches um, the rest of my body, so. I love this foundation. It's so good. It is amazing. It is like my favorite luxury um, foundation. I mean, this stuff is amazing. I'm going to go in with the concealer. I'm going to be using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC42. This is my skin tone, but I like to cover my imperfections. I wish they would get some better bottles than this. I hate like it coming out so fast and it just... Ugh, it gets on my nerves. I mean, I would think that a lot of people would complain about that, so they would change their packaging, but... but yeah, just trying to cover some pimples and whatnots, so I'll do that. And I'm going to blend it out with a Morphe G2 brush. And get right underneath there. And then I'm gonna go with my other, I'm gonna go in with my other MAC um, Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC25 just to brighten everything up. And then I like to use my MAC Prep and Prime in the shade Bright Forecast just to brighten everything up even more. <laughs> Make sure you're looking up so you don't crease your concealer. It's okay if you went a little crazy with the concealer, you can just take your foundation brush and blend it together so don't fret <laughs> or don't panic whatever you want to say but I do <laughs> I mean sometimes I can get too carried away I set my face with the MAC uh, mineralized skin finish in medium golden Now I'm going to do my under eyes. 
I'm going to use the Laura Mercier um, Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. I'm just lightly tapping the my brush in there and tapping it on. very lightly so I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit my girl pro conceal in the shade beautiful bronze I'm going to bronze up my face with Max um, Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deepest. Just the temples. I'm just using that e.l.f. brush, the new one that came out. I really like it. I'm going to use my e.l.f. Contouring brush. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking a Sigma tapered highlighter uh, F35 brush. Okay. I'm going to sweep away my um, powder from underneath my eye get some blush I'm going to use max um, powder blush in the shade burnt pepper looks like that I really love this color. It's just my favorite. I'm just going to use a Sonia Kashuk brush, a number 9 brush. You got to be real careful with this. It's very pigmented. So, I'm just going to lightly brush my cheeks with it. Just use your um foundation brush if you go ham like I just did it's okay you can fix it I'm gonna be using Becca's shimmering skin perfecter pressed in the shade blushed copper yeah I'm just gonna use this duo fiber brush just to brush it on a little this stuff is very pigmented too so you just gotta be really careful with this I love it so beautiful I'm gonna brush that over the top it's just an amazing blush topper like a C shape there you go love it let me prep them. I'm going to go in with Max Pro Longwear uh, Paint Pots in Soft Ochre. And go in with that all over my lid. This stuff covers all your veins. Like, you can tell. Look at that difference. It's amazing. I love this stuff. I'm going to take a piece of tape for this because I don't want to mess it up so I'm just taking a tape and you know getting some of the sticky off so it doesn't so I'm just going to apply the tape in the corner you just put it to where you want it and I'm going to do the same for the other side Okay. 
until you see they're even. Okay, so you got your tape on. I'm going to be going in with MAC um, Pro Longwear Eyeshadow in Uninterrupted. I'm going to use that in my transition area. <laughs> I guess that's what you call it. I love this color. This is what it looks like right here. It's a orangey brown color mixed. It's an amazing color. I love it. So I'm just going to put that in the crease. The star of the show. I'm using the color pops uh, Thirsty Girl. So beautifully gorgeous. Okay, so I'm just going to use my finger um, to apply this because it's just the easiest way to do these. Um, oh wow, oh, it's so beautiful. This is a metallic um, shade. I'm going to apply some of the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Black Bean. I'm going to put that all over the lid because I think this will make it pop even more. Just lightly. Um, I'm just going to use a Sedona Lace number 11 brush. I'm just going to apply a little bit more of the transition shade because it got blended away a little bit with my finger. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to go in with the Makeup Geek. Uh, the darkest black shadow ever, um, corrupt, and I'm going to put that in my um, crease just a little bit, just to give it some depth. And I'm just going to take that transition shade and um, even everything out. Okay. Now I'm going to go on with some um, eyeliner. The Inglot number 77 and a Sigma winged liner E06. When you have a tape there, using it as a guide is just the easiest way to do winged liner. I'm telling you. Now I think we can uh, remove the tape very carefully. And then you're just going to take a brush and buff out the edges because you don't want a harsh line there. The Benefit They're Real uh, mascara. A brow bone highlight. I'm going to use, yeah, I'm going to use Makeup Geek's Shim Shimmer. And just use that as a brow bone highlight. I'm going to put some color in my um, inner, inner um, tear duct, I guess. With Shim Shimmer also. Just to brighten it up. Eyeliner, um, pencil liner, is the Too Faced Perfect Eyes um, Eyeliner in Perfect Black. I'm going to be using just this um, e.l.f. smudge brush and just smudge underneath. and just smudge some of the black down there and then I'm going to go in with a little bit of that 
shadow the thirsty girl and try to mix it in and then I'm going to put some mascara um, on my bottom lashes I'm going to set my face with the Urban Decay um, All Nighter uh, setting spray the last thing I'm going to do is just pop on some lashes I'm just going to be using the Iconic Lashes by House of Lashes. I'm going to go in with Whirl um, by MAC. And then I'm going to use um, Kathleen Light's uh, Miami Fever. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.